guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so today in this video i'm going to talk about some research positions some jrf positions uh, which have been uh, introduced and which have been notified by drdo now these positions are there in which some of them are the positions where uh, like jrf like csir jrf qualification is required whereas some positions are there where nothing is required like you don't need jrf to qualify that just with your master's degree you can like apply for them what are those positions and how to apply to them i'm going to talk about everything in detail in this particular video i would like to thank ruchira i would like to thank kamesh and i would like to thank isha for providing all these information to me so thank you so much guys a big shout out to all of you and this is the official website okay and i will show you in the next uh, few minutes that how you can reach out to the notification and what are the positions all the details we are going to discuss in it so without wasting any time Let's continue with our video. All right. So as I said, this is the official website. What you have to do is you have to just scroll down a little bit to this what's new section. Okay. And you have to come a little bit more down to this view all what's new. Now, once you click on this uh, like view all what's new, it will be taken to a page where all the new or the latest notifications are there in a single page. Now we have to look upon two of them, which is uh, like which was notified on 29th of October and on the 1st of November. So these are the two notification on which we have most focus on. Uh, 29th October is for the walk-in interview for the award of junior research fellow and research associate in DRDE Gwalior. Whereas the first November notification is for walk-in interview for award of junior research fellow in the defense laboratory Jodhpur. So both these are two different uh, like organize like two different venues or two different places where this organization has its offices or it has its own laboratory. So yeah, this is for the Gwalior uh, like unit and this is for the Jodhpur unit. So we will look upon one, uh, like each of them one by one. So let's go for this Gwalior one. When I click on this notification, I'll be taken to a page where this is dedicated to walk-in interview for the award letter of junior research fellow and research associate in DRDE Gwalior. Now I just have to click on advertisement to get all the notif like all the details about it. And uh, next thing is application form. So let's first of all look, look upon the advertisement as such okay so yeah it will just take a minute uh, to download because the file size is around 2 mb so yeah it's done depending upon your internet size it depends right so as it says it's a walk-in interview for the award of junior research fellow and uh, research associate now junior research fellow is someone who joins for phd whereas research associate is postdoctoral or after uh, phd so yeah, both of them will have their own uh, qualifications. Okay, so let's come down a little bit. So for JRF, there are three post, post 01, post 02 and post 03. These are different post numbers. You have to note them down because when you will apply, you need to fill it there. Okay, the fellowship uh, over here for post 01 is DRDO Junior Research Fellow. For 02 is also DRDO Junior Research Fellow. Okay, so the fellowship is same for all of them. Number of fellowship is different. For post 1 there are 5, for post 2 there are again 5 and for post 3 there is just one, like there is just one num fellowship which will be given. Uh, Alright, qualification, so for post 1 or post code 01, you need first class MSc in biological stream in life sciences, zoology, botany, molecular biology, microbiology, pharmacology, toxicology uh, and along with that you need CSIR, NET, JRF also. Okay, So these are the two requirements for this. For post code 02, you need first class MSc in chemistry, physical chemistry, analytical, organic, inorganic, any of the stream. And along with that, you need national eligibility test. That means you have to qualify this NET exam uh, conducted by your CSR, UGC, NET, JRF, LS. Okay, so you can be either JRF or LS. Both of, if you are a JRF, then also you can apply. Or if you are NET qualified, then also you apply. Even if you are GATE qualified, then also you can apply for this. Date of interview is 10th of... December so make sure because it's a walk-in interview you have to directly go to that place okay that is the way how you have to go for it 28 years is the maximum age for this no relaxation is given as per now okay post number 03 is for again there is just one post here and here 
uh, the post is not for chemistry it's for those who have done graduate degree in textile industry or polymer sciences so this is for those guys okay so this post goes for them okay let's come a little down here so junior research fellow with own fellowship okay now this is for those who have their own fellowships now you can see that here fellowship is again jrf it is called jrf and essential qualification is first class msc in biological stream life science zoological botanical uh, uh, sorry biotechnology molecular biology microbiology pharmacology so any of these with own jrf fellowship from any of the approved national agencies so if you have any of the fellowship from like if you have that means for this case you need jrf qualification okay so you should have jrf to call like to apply for this whereas for this this is for the chemistry people so there are code number 05 and here first class msc in chemistry and with own jrf fellowship from any approved national agency means you should have your own fellowship means either you should have jrf or you should have inspire or you should have any of the fellowship depending upon like rgnf or any fellowship which you already have so then you can apply for it okay basically this post is for jrf fellows which, which have a, their own fellowships and this is for those these ones are for those who don't have jrf but if they have ls qualified net qualified then in that case they can apply for it or even if they are gate qualified in that case also they can apply for it so uh, jrf qualification is not a mandatory term for applying for these posts okay basically for chemistry this is the one like code number 02 is the one for uh, those who don't have jrf but have net or gate okay date of interview is different for all of them please note down the date of interview the next thing is for the research associate now that is obviously i told you that for that qualification will be phd because uh, research associate is done after phd so it's a different thing okay coming down a little bit if you read out the different stipend values and also stipend is will be given of rupees 31000 and along with that hra and medical facilities will also be provided uh, to the candidate and uh, research associates will get 54000 per month as per the given fees and cut off date so age and educational qualification will be calculated determined as on the age of as on the date of interview age limit is relaxable up to 5 years for the scst candidate 3 years for the obc candidate and uh, for the other category category as per the central government rules okay so this are this is the relaxation which they are providing essential qualification as i said that first division in the post graduate degree that is in msc in the relevant subject is very important so if you are applying for chemistry you should have first division qualification in chemistry and along with that net or csir net jrf or gate or dbt icmr any of these exams you have to qualify now dbt and icmr is for life sciences students okay gate only those candidates who have been awarded degree provisional certificate are apply, uh, are eligible to apply that means if you have qualified gate and if you have a provisional degree for that then only you can apply for it okay not those who have just applied for gate they are not eligible okay yeah so common guidelines you can read about them over here that jrf is maximum of five years initial two years is of jrf the rest of the three years you are going to work as a srf for ra the means the for research associate the tenure is maximum of two years yeah this is very important that the reporting time for the walk-in interview is uh, like this or uh, like morning 9 30 am and at the date of interview the main gate uh, that the the venue is this that the main gate reception drde jhansi road gwalior and late comers will not be allowed at any cost so make sure if you are applying for it reach out to that place at time okay so don't get late over there rest of the things you can read over here that what are the things required i'm not going to read about it yeah one more thing that they might take a written test uh for the jrfs okay conducted for the jrf and that will be done from 11 am to 12 noon if the number of candidates are more okay in that case they might take written test although it's not like they have not uh like said that they are going to take written tests but if the number of candidates are more and they have to scrutinize them then in that case they can quickly take a written test over there itself also if the number of candidate increases they will like take interviews on two different days so make sure that you have your own accommodation over there so yeah that's what they say and uh, you can apply using the application form which is on this website i will show you how to apply and basically you have to fill this application form and send it via mail to these mails okay the mails are these student underscore cell at the rate drd dot drdo dot in and student underscore 
cell at the rate drd.gov.in so you have to mail uh, like your field form on these two places rest of the things you have to read that what documents are required and all the things how to reach the venue for the interview you can read over here every information is given so make sure that you read this notification properly because each and everything is informed in it okay i have just informed the important things okay coming back to this page from where i have downloaded this advertisement in the same page i have application form as well now once you click over here you can just download and you can save and view it i will i have already done it so i'll show you here it looks like this is how the application form looks you have to fill the advertisement number first of all then the date everything is there on the website post code i said you have to remember right so write down the post code then okay how to fill it you can either type because it's a word format so you can either type on the word you can edit it on the word or you can take a print out and write it with your pen so both the things are uh, like uh, applicable here fill all your detail everything whatever is there and after filling it you have to mail as per the email which were provided in the advertisement all right so this is how you have to apply for it now let's get back to the other post so this was all about the positions which were in the drde gwalior now let's talk about the walk-in interview for the jodhpur unit okay so once you click over here here you only have the advertisement okay so you just click on the advertisement and here the advertisement will be downloaded and all the informations will be here now this in this place you don't have any option for the application form let's look upon it so walk-in interview for the award of jrf fellowship uh, fellowship amount is thirty one thousand and plus hra and medical facilities will be given duration of fellowship is two year and then it will be extended if you get the srf right so the position is for physics chemistry so chemistry there is just three positions which are here what are the eligibility criteria or what are the things which are required so postgraduate degree in chemistry with first division and net qualification okay conducted by csir ugc and or you you can also qualify gate so net or gate any qualification is required apart from that if you fulfill any of this detail uh, sorry any of these uh, qualification you are eligible for it date of interview is 7th of december so make sure that you reach out to the place because this is again a walk-in interview so you have to reach out to uh, jodhpur unit for this particular interview general conditions are same that the age should be 28 years relaxation is same in both of them uh yeah no ta will be paid so make sure that when you are going for the interview they are not going to pay you any uh, travel allowance okay ta means travel allowance okay procedure for attending the interview what you have to do that if you are eligible candidate you can go for walk in for the interview at the defense laboratory okay that's the whole address over here at the date mentioned above so yeah while appearing for the interview the candidate are required to submit complete bio data with recent passport size photograph affixed on the top corner of the first page and one set of self attested copies of all the degree academic qualification certificate so when you are going for interview you have to carry your bio data along with that all your certificates xerox of all of them you have to submit it over there along with your photograph so that's how it will be done if you are a working candidate that means if you are working in a government college uh, sorry if you are working in a government sector or public sector then you should have a noc certificate as well that is no objection certificate so this is about both the post okay i hope you understood uh, all the details are there on the website so you can just click and you can reach out to them all the links will be there in the description so don't worry about that you can reach out to the like to these pages directly through the link given in the description so that's it from my side guys for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take hey care guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csir ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much